I had no idea that Savage Sam existed, even less so that it was a sequel to Old Yeller. Old Yeller is obviously a very classic, iconic Disney film. I watched it recently and can understand why, why it's very moving. Savage Sam is technically a sequel, but you can completely watch it in its own right, and you don't need to have seen Old Yeller. And I will say it's not as sad as Old Yeller. It is... While there are some awkward depictions of Native Americans, which I completely expected when I read the kind of the brief description of what the narrative was about, in fact, it's such a a very one-sided depiction and they're not painted in a favourable light at all. And yes, we can see these Native Americans bringing problems to the farm, but the way the characters respond to them, the way they talk about them, it's sometimes very difficult. To watch and that's just something that's worth bearing in mind obviously a product of its time but that doesn't really excuse it um, but I, I certainly didn't expect any different um, for this time period so that's definitely something worth bearing in mind if you're not a fan of films that depict Native Americans in very very unfavorable lights the film was released in 1963 directed by Norman Tucker written by Fred Gibson and William Tunberg and brilliantly we have Tommy Kirk and Kevin Kirkcoran as Travis and Arliss. And I say brilliantly because sometimes with sequels, the original cast don't reprise their roles for whatever reason. But that is the case here. And I was really pleased about that because I, I really like Tommy Kirk and Kevin Kirkcoran's work. They've done other Disney films and I'm always kind of pleased to watch their performances. And that's absolutely the case here. We also have um, Marta Kristen playing Lisbeth. And Lisbeth is a really likeable character. Um, it was quite interesting to have a young female lead which is not something we got in old yeller so it gave the film a slightly different mood at certain times to the previous film that's not to say it's a better mood as such and i do say that this doesn't compare to old yeller at all but i kind of watched it as a film in its own right rather than a sequel because as i said really you don't need to have seen old yeller so if you've been putting off old yeller because you know what it's about and you don't like sad animal films which i had been doing you can watch this um it, it won't make any difference um but in this one these uh native americans are threatening various um well various aspects of, of the farm of the boys of the dogs and Needless to say, they are, well, they have some words to say about this and their safety is at risk, their lives are at risk. Um, will they be able to get out of this alive? And I'm not going to say any more than that about the narrative. Obviously, because the Native American characters do feature very heavily and they're not talked about very nicely. It is, quite a lot of the film is a bit awkward, but I enjoyed the, the technical aspects of the film. I think the acting was very good, particularly of, of the leads. Um, it, the action scenes were shot very well. The pacing of the narrative is very good. Um, it's quite warm and fuzzy at certain points. It, at the beginning, they're cooking breakfast and the, the breakfast conversation seems to go on for quite a while, but it's homely, it's warm, it's inviting, and it's quite a, a nice way to lure you in before the high intensity of the action kicks in. So I think that worked very well. Um, the narrative itself is, you know, it develops well, the pacing's good, it flows well, what happens is very action-packed. If you're able to look past the awkward depictions, then it's not a bad film. It does not compare to Old Yeller. Um, had I watched this first, I never would have realised it was a connection to Old Yeller. So you absolutely don't need to watch the other film first if you don't want to. But I would recommend it just because it's really nice to see the boys being slightly older now um that's you know I, i'm really pleased they kept the same actors there that's something that i thought was pretty good so it's not a it's not the worst film i've ever seen technically there are quite a few things about it that work really well there are also things about it that perhaps don't work as much um we also have to point out that the dog um who is supposed to be related to old yeller definitely has a very different physical appearance and it definitely isn't the puppy. I can't say any more than that. Um, but it's not a puppy of Old Yeller's, but it's also Old Yeller's son. So go figure. Work that one out for yourself because I couldn't. But aside from that, um, Savage Sam, not a terrible film. It's not so uncomfortable that it's not possible to watch it. But certainly it's a product of its time. 
worth watching if you're watching all of the Disney films. Would I watch it again? It's unlikely, but I didn't hate it.